Hey, hi everyone. Welcome again to the special automation. I am Aditi, and today in this video, we will be seeing the test runner and test suite in Selenium using Python. Okay. So before we proceed uh, with the test runner test suite, uh, first let me tell you that whenever you are executing some test using Selenium for Java, we are having the um, uh, test suite, right? I mean, if you are already aware of the test ng and JUnit framework. So you already know that uh, by utilizing the test suit by test suit XML file in uh, test ng, or we can have the JUnit runner classes to run our uh, several test script in a single time. Uh, we can run it as a parallelly or we can run it as a sequential order. Okay. So for the same thing, we will be seeing in Python. For that, uh, as Python doesn't support JUnit or test ng, so we'll be having Python's uh, native five unit support. Okay. So let's get to see. Okay, so for my project structure, let me show you my the inside my source folder, SSC folder. I have uh, located all my pages and locators files. Okay, this is the locator files. Uh, this is holding all the pages, locators, and for each and every page, uh, confirmation page, home page, sign on page, all the page related method and everything uh, already have defined in this page folder. And under the test directory, there is my uh, script that is containing all the scripts, and these are test switch directory that is containing my test runner of Python classes. Okay, so first let me take you to my script. Uh, so what is my script basically? So this is my script. This is extending my base classes environment setup. This is containing the TR setup and TR down. Okay, so for how to set up base class in Python, I will have a separate tutorial for that. Please, uh, you can follow the video. Link is given above. And um, and so the first thing that is validating the home page, it will validate the asserting a title or whatever the home page content, everything will be uh, validated. Okay, this one method is only there. So, test home page is the simple test method I'm defining, and the class name that is this Mercury Tools home page given. Similarly, for test Mercury Tools registrations, what it's basically doing, it's it's also extending the environment setup classes and it's doing the entire registration flow okay and after post registration is checking if the registration is successful or not okay and then it's a sign on flow so after registration we need to check whatever the idea passed uh, we need to check uh, after clicking it is navigating the sign on page or not and then we are verifying providing some invalid user id and we are checking where are, are we able to log in or not purely for this is a negative test scenario we won't be able to log in some exception will hack end or whatever will happen we will face that okay so we will provide some invalid keys and password so this is my simple test uh, three test script and the uh, website i'm performing let me show you this is the marquee demo website uh, give it some time to open okay this is the website i'm performing so you can also have the website and uh, you can also proceed with the web automations for this project uh, for this website okay so the my concern is uh, now we need to run our test script uh, at the same time so uh, there's a very good features in python is that we can have our test script we can directly run it from our test directory folder like whatever the folder is content you can just select all this and then just click on run it will be able to run you will be able to run this all the three tests okay or simply if you just right click on the test and click on the run unit test and test so it will run here all the tests that has been implemented in the pi unit testing framework of uh, python this is the website okay basically okay so what i was telling that yeah so you can just write all your test script so you need to navigate your directory and right click on that you can just also run that particular test directory so it will run all your test script Okay, but uh, in some cases, see if you have to define some particular test script you want to run. Okay, like first and third, year second and fourth. Uh, so in that case, I will better suggest to create one test runner classes, just like we used to create for JUnit or test engine framework. So let's uh, show you my test runner classes. So ignore all that part I, uh, which has been imported. I will come to it later. The first thing is that we need to have here, here one method as a main. Okay. If uh, name equal to equal to main, then what I'm doing? Loader equal to test loader. So all these things, the test loader, test suit, and test text, test runner. That three things we'll be needing for running our test using the test runner in Python. 
So we need to import the test loader, test suite, and text test runner from the unit test Python unit test. And then we're creating one object instance in one object loader equal to test loader, and then creating one suite object suit equal to test suit. Inside that I'm passing loader dot load test from the test case. So this is my test class test underscore market to home dot home page Python file. Instead that Python file, if you go to that, you see the class. This is the class now, market to home page, right? And for the second one, this is the class name market to registrations. And for the third one, this is the class market to sign up. And this is the market to registrations. Okay. Let's go back to my test runner classes. So I need to mention on the class name. So inside the test, so it will say like loader, whatever I have defined using the test loader. Then load test from the test case. So from the test case, I'll be loading my uh, test. So the class name is market to home page, uh, sign on and registration. Okay, and all these things I need to import. So I've already imported this. It has been located in my uh, web automation folder. Web automation folder. Then test. Then uh, uh, then test. Then scripts. Then markery test on the test on the markery home page. This is the this is the sorry. This is the um, uh, test script, and then from that we are importing market tools home page. This is the class I'm importing. Whatever the class I'm passing here. So for each and everything, you need know, to pass the class name and you need know, to import it from from the relevant uh, test script Python file. Okay. So after um, setting all your test suite, now next thing you will be doing, uh, you you need to run it. Okay. So for uh, if you want to run it parallelly. Way. So for that we'll be using exist pytest exist. So I have uh, created a separate tutorial for that uh, how we can run parallelly in the pytest nodes and pytest exist. You can refer to that. But if you use this text trace runner, we will be only able to run it sequentially. Okay. So next thing we'll be creating one object like runner equal to text trace runner verbose equal to so it will give you some additional input also in your console. And the runner dot run suite, whatever the suite that suite is containing all this test script. Okay, I'm running this suite. So simply just go to the test runner and run it. Run test runner. We will see the result. So run has been started. First test has been completed. Second test, it's uh, showing. Now it's performing the second test. Market to sign on page. Providing invalid link, invalid password. One more thing, guys. Uh, let me tell you the order the way the test script should pass. Okay. Whatever the order you should mention in the inside your test suit, it will pass it. Uh, all the test script will pass get pass accordingly. Okay, like if you provide the registration in the first, so it will um, initial it will start the registration script first. Okay, so the order you have mentioned here accordingly, um, script will get executed. Okay, but it's not for the same for uh, parallel testing. It will be different. So it's providing all the details. It will click on submit. Registration has been successfully completed. Is already generated. Completed. Okay, so three tests has been uh, took around 92 seconds and process finished with exist for zero and uh, result is response is okay. So now just uh, scroll up and see the results. So first test is uh, it's uh, sequentially started. Run time runs started at which time it's getting printed. Common memory set up. Then run completed is printing. Then again, it's showing run started at this time. And so the second test sign on. And accordingly, run has been completed. And this starting with the registration flow third test. Okay. So all three tests have been run fast successfully. So in that way, guys, we can run our Python test script sequentially using the Python test loader, test suite, and test text test runner. Okay. Now, if you want to run it parallel, I won't suggest this way, but you can also utilize this. Uh, if you want to run a parallel test suite, you can use the concurrent suite, but uh, 
I would better, but if you use that concurrent suit, uh, the uh, thing will be like that. Uh, sometimes, uh, I mean, it will launch your browser, uh, it will in launch your script at the same time, but the difference will be like whatever the output you are getting, right? The output will be not with thread safe, okay? So, it, you will get uh, the output, all the output will get overlap to each other, okay? So, that's the thing basically will fetch. So, better to use uh, uh, PyTest, XDist, XDist. Uh, and nose and uh, multiprocessing for uh, parallel testing in python okay so let for this let me show you one example how to run this some error it's showing unexpected incident uh, concurrent just let me mark this as a Now, if I run my test suite runner, so for concurrent, it's finished with exit code one. What error? Okay, it's showing some error. Let me show you first. Uh, let me just uncheck these options. Okay, and uh, it's showing unexpected indent. Okay, got it. So make sure guys, uh, if you are executing in Python, uh, the most important things uh, is you will find that uh, if you are uh, uh, indent is wrong, then it will provide you some error. Okay, so spacing is one of the important part in uh, Python. So provide some correct indent. Then run, let me run it again. Okay, so we can see three browser has been launched at the same time for parallel processing, but uh, and it, it has been loaded three tests. Okay, so for each and every browser, but if you see the result, see these things is getting overlapped each other. See, run started, run started. So everything is getting overlapped. So process finished with exit zero and test has been completed successfully. Okay. So this is how you can also run your test uh, parallelly uh, by utilizing the concurrent suit. Uh, it will uh, trigger all your test script in a, at the simultaneous at the same time. But uh, this is not a thread so I won't suggest. I will suggest to go to this link. Python parallel test. Okay, I already have shared a very useful uh, useful link video for how we can proceed with this uh, Python's uh, testing uh, parallel testing in Selenium using Python 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 PyTest exist. Okay, so simply you can uh, go through the video to know about the parallel testing and uh, for some experimental purpose or if you script doesn't need to be doesn't have uh, to generate all this kind of block in the console all you are doing validating against the fetching using the another log library so you can also give it a try using the concurrent suit which is for that we need to import uh, test tools as test tools okay this is for concurrent suit runner but so so guys that's all for today we have seen enough that how you can run our create our test runner classes in python and how you can run uh, our test script sequentially using the text test runner and uh, how we can also able to run our uh, parallel testing using the concurrent concurrent suit okay so that's all for today guys and if you have any questions please do let me know in the below comment sections i will be happy to help you regarding that and if you like this video please do not forget to support and subscribe this so have a good day everyone bye bye